Welcome to USA Global TV and Radio, where our mission is to provide education, entertainment, hope, and inspiration. USA Global TV and Radio connects you with experts and audiences all around the world every single day to help you succeed in business and to live a richer life. Visit us at usaglobaltv.com to learn about career and life-changing training and mentoring programs like The Listening Mentor. Subscribe to our newsletter to stay informed about our special programs and offers. Discover how you can become a guest on one of our shows or a host or producer of a USA Global TV and radio show of your very own. That's USA Global TV and radio, where the doctor is always in. Hello and welcome. Welcome to the Wild at Heart Show. Real authentic uncut here on USA Global TV and radio. Thanks for joining again. And actually, it's a very, very special moment for me, a very emotional moment too. Uh, it's going to be the last show. We, we had an amazing year, almost 50 shows weekly. Uh, an amazing time. So we're going to celebrate today together with you. Uh, out there, wherever you are joining us on on a TV station, on some <clears throat> social media platform, on a podcast, or whatever. Okay, so let's get started um, and bring on the first panelist. Uh, he was from there from the beginning, a dear friend from Germany. Let's welcome Christian from Germany. Hi guys, how are you doing? Nice to Hi, see Christian. you again. The last time. Yeah, great to see you, man. Great to see you, man. Thanks for joining. Okay, so we also have a gentleman who joined from the beginning, and he's back for the day for the show. I'm very happy he's here. Welcome from Poland, Marcin. Hi, Roland. Hi, Christian. Good hey, to be Marcin. back. Hi, Marcin. Good to see you. Good, good to see you, see you man. Hey. hey. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, it's spring already, so a lot of work in the garden, so I'm very, very happy. Very, very nice. Okay, I want to welcome a gentleman uh, who joined the last month. And I guess you guys will are absolutely agree with me. He was an absolute enrichment for the show. Uh, welcome from Texas. Howdy, howdy, Red. Howdy, y'all. Hello, sir. Hi, Red. Howdy. Very good. Yeah. Uh, very good. Very good. Okay, okay, okay. And we invited also for this anniversary or for this last show, I invited some guests from our Sparring, sparring for Men um, from the US. I know he's already background, so let's wake up. I guess from Vegas, I think so. Let's welcome Carlos. Hey, how are you guys? Good to be here and good to see Hi, you. Hi, Carlos. Hey, Carlos. Yeah, you're, you're, you're in your home office. Hi, so Carlos. You're in Vegas. Yes, it, I am in my phone, at my home office. I just... I've uh, been working all morning. I'm sorry I'm a little late for this meeting today. So, uh, But happy to be great, here. Great to see you, man. And you. I know we have another guest who will join us from Oregon. He will, will join us uh, soon. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, as I said in the beginning, it's a kind of anniversary. I'm really, it's kind of, <laughs> kind of emotional for me. When we started this idea uh, a year ago, actually. My idea was the concept we've been written uh, we started earlier, but we started with the show a year ago. We almost did almost 50 shows of so every week. We had a new topic to discuss and it was a lot of fun. Absolutely. It was absolutely a lot of fun. I think it was a success because all the panelists uh, that joined us also the past time, they're very open-minded. They all they shared their ideas, their thoughts. Whatever came to their mind as 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 a man, it was really really fantastic. Uh, so, yeah, let's let's get started. And I um, before we start and, and celebrate a little bit, I want to celebrate uh, persons who cannot join today, uh, the panelists who uh, have been with us from the beginning. Uh, so, a big applause to Mohamed Monir from Egypt. He was an amazing guy on the show. Thanks, Monir. Maybe you can see the recording. 
Um, yeah, Maria is a very dear friend since many, many years. We've worked worldwide together for a company and yeah, it was, was really fun with him. And he also brought another friend from Egypt, Hassan, Hassan Barak. Thanks, Hassan, that you joined us and you also have been on Richmond uh, for the show. And we also had a guy, I invited him for today. He couldn't join today because he has some business running, some job running, and he's also recovering. So a big shout out to Big Scott from the UK. Hey, Scott, all the best, man. And last but not least, I want to thank a gentleman, a dear friend, actually he's from Mexico too, but he's been living in Mallorca. We, we are friends there and a big shout out to my Mexican friend in Mallorca, Ezra. Hey, thank Ezra. Thanks for all the time you joined us. And now, gentlemen, I want to bring something on stage, uh, uh, a lady who made it possible for us to do the show, uh, who, who invited me. Uh, to bring guys like you on the show, to do the show live every week here on USA Global Radio, Radio. And I want to really, I want to bring you on stage and say thank you to the founder of USA Global TV and Radio, who does an amazing job with this platform. And he's always, when we do this man show, he's an amazing producer. So please welcome Dr. Jacqueline Kerbeck, the CEO and founder of USA Global TV Radio. Hey, Dr. Jacqueline. Hi, gentlemen. Hey. Nice to see you. Thanks for having nice me on. Yeah, nice Jacqueline, I want to thank you a lot to, uh, really to trust in me and to give me the opportunity to, to bring these guys on stage and do it every week, a, man, a show for men, by men, about men. And hopefully it, it hasn't been nasty. Uh, I guess we um, hadn't been naughty, so I guess we did, we did, uh, did a good show for the audience. And thanks a lot for giving us this opportunity and to provide this platform for us and to produce the show too. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. I'll just say very quickly, Roland, I entrusted you completely and you hit, hit it out of the ballpark. You did a great job. You hosted, you moderated, you brought the panelists on and uh, I just trust you implicitly. And I thank you for all the value that you bring to our platform. And I thank you to the panelists who are here today and the ones who couldn't make it. And we do have somebody backstage. Let's bring out uh, Brian Bartel, and I just want you to have a fabulous show and know that you always have a place here at USA Global TV and Radio, and I wish you all the best. Thank you, Dr. Checklin. Bye for now. So let's welcome, from also from our Sparing from Man group from the U.S., from Oregon, Brian. Hi, Brian. Great to have you on the show. Hey, everyone. How are you Hi, doing, Brian? Brian? Hi, Hi Brian. Thank you. Okay. And Carlos is back, too. Okay, okay, gentlemen. Cool. So, our uh, I was thinking about, about the recap, so I want to uh, have a discussion with you guys. What's the value of having a men's show or a men's group? Uh, what's your personal benefit out from the show or in general? Meeting other guys and share your thoughts, your emotions about being a man. Whoever wants to jump in. Well, I can. I'll, I'll I'll go ahead and start. So okay. I think it's just, you know the the challenge that we have too is is you know we're taught somewhat you know in society that oh you know you're supposed to be tough just don't you know let your feelings show so on and so forth but you know we're all emotionally driven and there's you know pros and cons to all of that so just being able to have a, a group of like minded minded individuals um, that can support that um, and help develop you you know whether it's I'm just challenging you to look at world differently, um, to challenge your own kind of internal beliefs and thoughts, and then just have that kind of sounding board for people that you realize truly do care about you um, and want you to develop as as a person. So again, we do it professionally. I think in our own professional lives, um, there's always that drive to succeed. And then again, if you're doing it from a from an endurance standpoint, you know whether you're into running or biking or or training um you know you're always trying to get better but it's the same thing emotionally and mentally right we want to be as strong as we possibly can so by embracing that and being surrounded with people that um, do challenge you to to make those changes it's just been fantastic so again for me i've, I've definitely enjoyed it um, roland marcin carlos all of you uh, it's just great to have that group of people there that can help support that as well uh thanks brad brad one question um, I, I guess you joined the men's group I think, a year or a year and a half. What, what's what's the what's most of the benefit for you? Was there a change, a game change for you in some areas in your life, as, as in business or being a husband or being a father or a friend or whatever? 
I, yeah, I think overall, I mean, just a, a more rounded individual. So I look forward, you know, we meet every about two weeks. And again, it's something that I look forward to. It's, it's eight o'clock on a Saturday morning, which most people might not want to get up early on the weekends to, to start engaging. But for me, it's something that I look forward to. Um, and again, it's just challenged the, uh, the beliefs that I've had in the past. It's good. There's a, there's a very well-rounded group. Everybody has their own, you know, individual thoughts, um, you know, their past that they've been through. And collectively, it's interesting, you know, we all think that we're so different, but then you start having these conversations and you realize how similar we are. So just having that support group has just been amazing. And again, it's helped me out in my, in my marriage, it's helped me out, uh, you know, in my professional career. Um, and again, just challenged me to be a better person, you know, whether that's mentally and physically start working out more. So again, just seeing what's out there, what's capable, what other people are doing, it's just been fantastic. So again, I'm, I'm super excited and uh, thankful for the opportunity. Thank you, Brian. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, man. Who, who wants to ch jump in next? Red, please. Well, going on with Brian was saying is a lot of times we have feelings, but we don't necessarily share them with a lot of people. Uh, somebody might ask an opinion, but uh, sometimes we don't even want to give them that opinion. We have a tendency to, to stand off a little bit unless we know somebody really, really well. And then maybe you might get into politics or religion or something else that is typically not a, a common subject for a lot of us. So I think when you have a panel discussion and you hear somebody else, say, well, well you know, I kind of feel that same way. Uh, and so we have a chance to, to verbalize uh, a lot of things that we don't necessarily ever get a chance to verbalize. So from that perspective, I thought that was of immense value because there is an opportunity to share something uh, that may be similar to someone else, maybe absolutely different but in being different there's nothing wrong with that it's just it's different and uh you know depending on age depending on culture religion there's just a lot of different things that we can have different opinions on so from that perspective i think it's an excellent opportunity to provide kind of an emotional sharing but also an emotional vacuum cleaner to, to soak up other things that are out there Thank you, Red. For our audience, just to understand, uh, guys, who, wherever you listening to us, I have to tell you that Christian is the only guy I met in person several times. The other guy is just online, and you know, and we build up this friendship, we build up this trust, this lovely environment where we share our stuff. So this this is for me absolutely amazing from different uh, parts over over the world in the last months and years, and this is just this is for me it's just fantastic. And also. I, jumping in between for me to benefit you know even when i created this but i learned so much from you guys and from the other guys on the show you know um as as as, as um, brian said before you know I, you know sometimes you feel oh shit i'm the only man who's struggling with the story i cannot talk about it i'm ashamed no the other ones have similar challenges similar stuff <laughs> to handle with i will never forget when i was struggling with my relationship and i could share this in the group and it was it was so good to share it. And for me, the healing already began when I just opened my mouth. It's not about to get a solution or advice. It's just. Thanks for that. Christian, you're on mute. Yeah, I think Roland's uh, frozen there. Audio yeah, it's ended. something about the broken. Well, I guess broken we can do this show without him today, right? Just yeah, we can. It's possible. <laughs> to be he started. And I'm, and I'm <laughs> taking over the show. Like okay, okay, we're oh. we all ready. We're all back. <laughs> Martin, my dear friend from Poland, thanks for coming back. And, and what's your thoughts? What's your insights? Yeah, well, uh, starting uh, this um, and engaging into this opportunity was uh, quite a challenge for me, not only because uh, English is not my mother tongue and it's not uh, like uh, obvious for me still to, to use this language on a daily basis, especially talking about things who, that are uh, close to my heart and I want to just, you know, put them in words correctly. So that was the first challenge. The second was at the beginning, I remember your call and it was just a few days after I thought, yeah, I want to do um, something to uh, maybe tell a little bit a little bit already about what I've learned because uh, I thought maybe it's already a good time for me to share not only to listen so this was the opportunity 
opportunity and a challenge as well, because I was afraid maybe I'm not, I do not have enough experience to share, actually, and uh, maybe it's not you know worthy of anyone's time. But uh, thanks to uh, the wonderful group and the atmosphere that we built together and the trust that slowly started to grow between us, I think I gained uh, like a new muscles, uh, not because of, I'm working out more, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> it's not this time of my life yet but um yeah i i feel like i've uh, trained my other muscles like like i'm i'm i think i trained my heart it is a muscle as well uh to just um contain more and uh um withstand more as well and to uh live more maybe even so uh, it definitely helped me along the way uh, on the path of discovering my own masculinity and uh, i've enjoyed our talks and all of the insights that i could get from you guys and sometimes even from the people who are listening to us so thank you for that and uh, yeah uh, that's why that's why uh, i'm also a little bit emotional about this year already and yeah i'm happy to be here again thank you Masin. thanks a lot thanks for your openness yeah man, man. uh gentlemen out there uh, it's normal you know it's not that we guys said okay yeah we do it yes but all of us had a little bit well, i don't know i don't know should i talk should i don't even start but, but as you said Masin, it's it's it was a trust building stuff and we build it up um, trust we, we get to know each other better and then we open up slowly 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 and, and some people need more times some people are more open some people are more extrovert extroverted but some are more introvert it's all good it's space for everyone here and we just learn and we just we grow yeah we learn and grow together Okay, let's go to Bavaria. Do the Algoi, <laughs> Chris. Yeah, um, can you can you please recall the question again? Uh, what's your insights? What's the benefit for you joining the show, joining a men's group? Uh, in in chat, what do you think for for your personal benefit? What that's changed? that's that's the point. Um, you want it personal, so. Mm -hmm. I found out that I, um, the clearer I speak my truth, the more fitting to me is the tribe that surrounds me. So what I learned is stop talking bullshit and be real. And that's what I do. Yeah, absolutely. That, 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 you nailed it. You nailed it. <laughs> Quick and dirty. Stop, stop talking. Yeah, actually, it is. You know, men talking bullshit. You know, we're very competitive. We're the best. You know, we're the most successful one. And, and when you look behind the scene, behind the mask, you see a lot of shit. Uh, absolutely. Thanks, Christian, for that. Yeah. And uh, by the way, it's one of the things I learned also the last year is stop talking bullshit. Being absolutely real. Be real, authentic, uncut. Absolutely. Thanks, Christian, for that. My dear friend, my dear Mexican friend, I'm so looking forward to meet you in person, Carlos. <laughs> well, I will be in Europe in June, in June 19th, so hopefully we can cross paths there. But anyways, okay. so to me, it has been a, magnific a magnificent platform to be able to uh, talk to people, talk to men just like me, and be able to validate, you know, feelings. I Sometimes I think that when you're a man, you're afraid to cry, you're about, you're also afraid to pretty much be yourself and be honest about your feelings. And I think that having this group has been able to really be able to like open me more to talk about how I feel and to be able to uh, be a better person, right? Um, being in a platform where I don't get judged for what I'm gonna say, and that is very significant sometimes out there, especially with men always trying to compete with masculinity and things like that. So. I think this group that we have in the USA, you know, it has been to a point that we have cried, we have laughed, and we have sometimes not, sometimes agreed to uh, to a subject, so which is fantastic. And I take that, you know, I think that if, if we have more of that, we become better men. So happy and honest about the true feelings of who you really are is, is a key to success and to validate life, you know. Absolutely. Thanks for that. Thanks for that. Um, 
the, the next point I want to discuss with you is uh, I, I, many times when I, when I was talking to friends of mine, business friends or closer friends, I said, uh, let's join the show or let's join the Sparing for Man group. And some some men are really shy. I said, no, I don't need it. I'm fine. And I know it's alive. And uh, Many men are so scared about uh, being in a group and talking about them. Uh, I don't know if you can say so here in the US on YouTube, but some, some feel that a men's group is just a pussy group if, you know, with the smoking sticks and they're just, I don't know what they're doing now. It's all real men. And then, you know, these six fantastic men here, they're different jobs, you know, they're managers in different areas, they're trainers, they're uh, successful authors, uh, di different backgrounds, you know, it's real men, you know, real men. It was not a group just blaming about women or blaming about whatever. No, it, it was real men talking about the real shit in life. Yeah. Stop talking bullshit. It was real men talking real stuff. And to be honest, for me, it was in the beginning. I remember when I uh, joined, joined the first men's festival, <laughs> I was thinking, oh my gosh, who who the hell are we gonna meet you? Are this really men there or not? No, it was every it it was real men. And and this I think it's so, so important that men have an opportunity to really to talk it as you old guys said in in a in a yeah in a heartful uh safe environment where you don't get charged like Carlos said, we're not competitive and, and, and like also Christian said, uh stop talking bullshit being real. Guys, what, what is your advice for men who are listening and said, yeah, it, it sounds good, but <laughs> it sounds good, but whatever excuses is coming. But, uh, well, I can tell yeah. you something. I think that um, when I had invited people, I always try to invite people that I know that, uh, that they get a benefit out of this. If you are somebody that is listening or watching us right now through this platform, don't be afraid. I think that the first meeting that you will have, go with, don't go, don't come to the group with high expectations. Come to just be yourself, right? Uh, you never know what you're going to get that day. So it depends on the topic. But I think that the first step is the hardest. You know, once you come to the first meeting, like Brian said, I think that we started meeting in the United States only once a month, and then we move it like twice a month just because we needed to continue talking about issues. And one of the biggest problems here sometimes as men is that we carry this uh, shell around us that we have, uh, that we can cry. That you are the spouse of the house. You cannot show your emotions. Or oh, you're a man, you can, oh, please, you cannot talk about feelings because many times uh, we're not allowed because society mandates that. But then once you come to this group, I'm not saying that you're gonna cry every single day, that's not about that, but it's gonna be something that sometimes comes in afloat that is really gonna enrich yourself and it's gonna make you be uh, uh, truly honest to yourself, like Christian was saying. I think that that's one of the biggest benefits of this. Don't be afraid. If you get an invitation from somebody, I think the first step is to show up and then you're gonna want more. So. I can refrain on that and also sorry Carlos for laughing but at the beginning when you said uh, coming to the group do not have like high expectations I laughed because yeah <laughs> it's only us but uh, yeah <laughs> but jokes aside uh, I would say that uh, to be afraid of joining any kind of a group uh, is pretty normal and I think understandable so I was afraid at the beginning and uh, but it's important that the fear should not stop us from searching from groups. And I would not say that, you know, meeting guys from around the globe uh, online is the only option. But if I would have to give just one advice to any man listening to our show right now, I would say uh, just look around you because uh, maybe using internet or maybe just joining some some group some some small uh, you know um, group uh, just of the people doing some stuff so for example group of mechanics or group of gardeners or group of any men that are working together because uh, I discovered that uh, as men, uh, it's easier for us to bond when we have to do something together and to just sit around and talk. It's not so natural, uh, but it is also fun. Uh, I just, I'm just saying that I just felt that I needed 
men in my life uh, and I, I felt that strongly uh, not in the way that you may think of but uh, yeah just having you guys around me and uh, using your advice and uh, see the reflection of my life and all of its stages in your lives because you were so generous to share helped me to understand that I'm just one of you and you are one of the whole group of men on this beautiful planet so I'm not the only one having issues and not the only one uh, who is afraid sometime. uh, sometimes I'm not the only one who is unsure and not uh, not uh, sure if I'm doing the right thing because it is just the thing that we have as human beings so just to um, experience it and to feel it I think it's worth, worth a try thank you Marcin yeah absolutely I, I, I just can uh, read to this what you, what you guys said because you know uh, I, I, for example I, I know that many men outside have the same experience I had no father uh, I had no hero no role model yeah I haven't been taught by my, my my dad how to become a man to grow up as a boy there was no initiation or something like that like uh, some trap string and I always when I had problems uh, I always was talking to my mom or to the girlfriend or later to my wife you know it was always female energy was coming in what is what is what is okay too but was miss what was missing for me I found out was this masculine energy this masculine advice you know being being in a in a mask in a in a in a in a masculine tribe and that's what for me most of the, the the best things out of the out of these groups yeah to get uh talk to men and get advice from them and, 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 uh, on a more masculine way that I that I had it in the past absolutely Red you, you know, wanted to add something or oh, Christian no I, I just uh taking care of an itch in my eyebrow but uh, if you want to continue on that it's uh it, it's interesting because we all have uh, secrets that we don't want anybody else to know about uh, whether it be our spouse or uh, closest friends you know but sometimes you, know, you grow up and you do have close friends and they know a lot about you because they were there when it all happened but you know when you get another 10 20 30 40 years down the road who cares in reality who really cares uh, and the, the culture has changed. You know, what it was back like when I was a teenager in the 60s is nothing like it is today, you know, for teenagers or even somebody in their 30s or 40s. So the world changes, but the perspective that we have, that we've gained, that we've gone through, you know, you go through this and that and, you know, changes in the world situation, economics, you know, wars, uh, pandemics, we have value to share. And it may be that that person might be 20 years younger than us, and they never had a chance to go through something like that. And when you say, well, this is what I think. Well, you know, I never really thought about that, but, but you know something? He's absolutely correct. Or I can see where he's coming from. I disagree, but I, honest, I honestly understand where he's coming from. So I think sharing that information is a value because you do see where other people are coming from and how their value systems are created. And that I think is important because if we're going to become successful, we need to learn our lessons from what worked and what didn't work and that's kind of what we're doing when we're sharing is what worked absolutely thanks Fred. yeah christian you want to say something rather not <laughs> so i just want to say something christian if you allow me i think that the beauty of this group too uh, is that we are all with different backgrounds you know we're right now in different cities and different parts of the world. But once you get to know each other, you start seeing people as people. And you notice that we all may have or have dealt with the same issues. Or you're going through an issue that somebody else in the group is going through as well. And to find somebody to really relate or somebody that can really give you an opportunity for you to uh, deal with what you're going through, it is something amazing. Um, I definitely think that this group also had taught me to uh, be able to not just look at my point of view as this is the way it's going to be that it, you know that sometimes you have to be able to gather ideas and comments from people just to better yourself and to be more easy to listen to yourself not from the perspective of this is what i want and this is how it should be but more about what is going to be better for uh, whether you're having an issue with your spouse or with anybody around you that you can deal with better as you move forward. So I, I thank um, Roland for that because I think that 
coming to uh, to have this group in the U.S. has definitely uh, helped me in a lot of ways to to be a better person. I I, I got the invitation from my friend Bill, um, and then uh, from there we got Brian, and we have other people. But unfortunately, uh, Marcin haven't seen in a while. <laughs> He's in BC, right? But it is amazing to know that um, the, some way how we are marked with the same mark, you know, being men, whether you are a heterosexual guy, a gay guy, or bisexual, or whatever you are, you are in the same masculinity, you have the same femininity in order for you to function better as a true man. So that's what I love about this. There is no judgment. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you. Oh my God, I cannot believe it's the last show. <laughs> okay. And uh, Roland, how about you? Because you didn't share uh, what you've gained and how you see it now from the distance of almost one year. Yeah, as, as I said a little bit at the beginning, uh, I, I learned a lot from you guys. And, and you know, I'm, I'm, I'm also not, I'm just a man, but <laughs> not, a, not a superhuman being. I'm, I'm still learning. Um, uh, and also, you know, getting different ideas because sometimes, you know, you, you, have, you have a certain mindset, you have a certain idea, you have a certain belief system. And, it, and 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 I remember the first show that was really controversial with Christian. We had a topic, and I love this controversy because it's so boring when everything has the same opinion. You know, it's so boring. It's I love it much more on a respectful way because it was always. And it, I thank you guys so much for that. It was always a very very respectful way. But sometimes we had a controversy. Uh, uh, discussion and this conversation this was the best shows for me because i want to learn from other ones uh and 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 i want to improve and maybe some of the things what the fuck is it talking about no i don't like it but afterwards you know i reflect about it i said why not yeah yeah get a get a different point of views because you know especially you know when you get when you're getting all this you're always going the same path the same path but it's it's good to see uh yeah new way of thinking new ideas new directions that's what I, that's what I learned from you guys, and, and for me also it was a learning process to open up myself from becoming more real, you know. I mean, to be honest, you know, I, I I remember my very successful years. I was always on stage talking to five to ten thousand people, um, in in my 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 career. But to be honest, it was a fucking show. It was a fucking show. It was a fucking show, you know. It was just you know show business, you know. Uh, 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 you know, people there, uh, uh, cheering, clapping hand, and I, I know that the company is paying me five percent of everyone sitting in the room. And but sometimes I didn't like it, you know. I hated it. When I came back to the hotel room, I was just exhausted. Uh, I, I didn't like it, you know, because it was a fake show. You know, it was a fake show, and this is real, you know. This is real stuff, and and, and I, I feel myself much better, and and. Some of you know that what, what happened to me as a child, and it also helped me to work on that. Uh, actually, yesterday I was with two healers together, and it was a, an amazing result. So I learned a lot of myself. It helped me to overcome my fears. It helped me to overcome my traumas that that, that uh, have been during my childhood. So and and the best thing of out of it, of besides that, is making new friends, like you, Martin. Like Brian, like Carlos, uh, <clears throat> like Scott, and, and and Red, and 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 this is an amazing gift for me, having new friends all over the world. And I, and I don't know, guys, because when I, when I'm in trouble, I can call you guys. I will send you a text, and you can call me. And that's that's for me the best outcome of everything. It's a, it's about caring and sharing, and that's 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 my. I'm I'm, I'm so grateful for that. I'm so grateful for that. Absolutely. And don't forget that we're still planning to do a reunion a reunion group in Mexico with to have a Mexi command, remember? With a lot of yeah, 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 yeah. that's what we talk about that. So yeah, we have to, yeah, yeah, we have to do that. <laughs> but that's not gonna be broadcasted on USC Global Radio. <laughs> okay. Maybe we'll get more people to watch the show. You never know what these crazy people are gonna do in Mexico. With, uh, make, uh, with tequila, right, Marcin? Yeah. yeah. Do not remind me about tequila. I have a very troubled relationship with this, with that booze, so no. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay. So, gentlemen, uh, what what I really want to encourage our audience, and I guess Masin, you mentioned all, also it. You can join our, uh, a virtual session like we do. You can join us on Sparing for Men, but you can also join any other men's group. Or if you have a men's group uh, locally, please go there. Go there, or it is a men's festival or whatever. Join in and 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 without any expectation, just go there and 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 maybe you don't talk the first hour. Just listen from the other guys. I can I can tell from my own experience. Just listening to the other guys helped me so much because I said, oh, I'm not the only ones having these struggles and these issues. And then when I, as I said at the beginning, and then I I opened up because I, I I'm a, a person I don't trust much because of what happened to my past, but I learned to trust. Yeah? And then I opened up and I started speaking. And I, what I said uh, before is, and the healing already started when I just opened my mouth. The heal, the healing started. Yeah. So I really encourage you, gentlemen, wherever you listen to us, find a group, a local one or a, a virtual one, and, and and give it a try. Give it a give it a try. Yeah. Nothing to lose. Nothing to lose. My dear Bavarian friend, anything to add? Yes. Please. <laughs> Um, yes. German, yes. <laughs> I had I had this cup of tea right now, and I was thinking about something the whole time. Um, when I show up here, and I was in almost every show, I didn't miss a lot. And I show up here, obviously not in my best state. And one of the first questions is, or one of the first statements of somebody telling me or saying me is, can you fix the camera or oh, it doesn't look good when it's shaking. This is a lack of empathy that shows me that this is a place I'm not going to be for any much longer. And this is why I'm leaving now. I respect all you guys. I love you, Roland. I'm, I hope to see you again, but this is over for me. Okay. Bye, Christian. Okay. We're coming to an end, gentlemen. And yeah, thanks a lot. 50 weeks of Wild at Heart at USA Global TV and Radio. Red is coming back. Network is good. Okay, gentlemen, thanks a lot for joining. I hope you had fun. And we see you in our virtual group. And yeah, shout out. And encourage all men where you meet on, on the sports event, on a private event, or in business, encourage them to join a men's group and become a better version of themselves. Thanks a lot. And thanks to USA Global TV and Radio for this opportunity that we can broadcast this on, on, on this amazing network. Thanks and bye-bye. All the best. Thank you for the